Hey y'all! Welcome to a bit of a ad hoc, kind of on the number catch up, whatever you want to call it these days. <laughs> a few things have happened over the past, like, week and a bit. I'll call it two weeks now. Since y'all have seen me, I've um, been in the Elder Gamers vlog, walking around doing some of stuff. I did film, or at least attempt to film, stuff earlier this day, but I had a massive issue. All the files corrupted, so I've lost all of that footage. Hmm. Just some two weeks behind now, where I should be, but I'll film something next week. Because <sighs> I'm not really up for dealing with it, especially with the weather being constantly shitty like it is, but it's constantly going back and forth and not really being very friendly. Uh, busted my shoulder, right shoulder. <sighs> so yeah, mad to have a chip chip after, mad to have a bit of after going on family issue. You, know, you never know, it could just be something simple with a bit of, yeah, that just means a bit of work with a bit of physio and some just stretch it, stretch it, stretch it, but it crunches and cracks and groans and it's a lot of pain. Beyond that, there's nothing really too bad with it, it's just a pain in the ass. Um, going back across to Sheffield, that's coming to an end. Well, not fully coming to an end, but going doing the um, speech therapy that's ending in a week. Well, a week and a bit. It's ending next week. Uh, also, there might be a ad hoc, random, messy, whatever vlog going on from Birmingham. There's a Twitch event going on, or a Twitch community event, some friends of mine. So I'm going to be going, we are going to be going watching the Mario movie. Wahoo! So yeah, we're going to be having a bit of uh, a bit of that. And for those of you who are wondering where all of the other stuff is, as I said, um, with that, and plus I have had a few other issues going on. Um, sorry, I can't do it right now. I just I don't have the patience and the mental fortitude. So I just need to put that out there. So there is a few bits and pieces going on like that. Um, also, those of you who are wondering why I haven't I done any football or rugby vlogs, that's part of the reasons. Mental fortitude, mental acuity. You have to be all there in the head to do it. And sometimes at the time of the games, just for rugby, with it being kind of like you know, late kickoffs and stuff. It's not like I was situated where I used to be. I'm over the other side of town. So it is a bit of a, a pain in the behind to get back and forth. Plus I'm waiting for the right time. I was gonna go and I was gonna go to the main derby game. You know, within the Saints, but um that didn't happen. Didn't get a ticket because well I could have got a burn again. So I haven't got rid of all of that. And then there's the mystery the mystery tour and right now. With a friend. Yes. So I'm not going to give you any clues about who it is. The person that I'm going with knows where the hell that is. They know all about it. Hopefully they don't let slip. Don't let it slip now. But other than that, I can't really give any anything away apart from I've been there a few years ago and it has been a while since I've been a vlog there. That's all I'm going to say. But other than that, no, there's not really much going on with that. Um, other things, like job wise, no. Like, I'm getting asked to jo join call centers and stuff. When I require one of these, do you really think I'm going to be able to sit there for nine something hours if I'm supposed to wear one of these? Put it out today because I've got it. But I can't sit there on the phone for eight or nine hours a day. Not like I used to at my prior job. And if I was going to do that, I'd just ask them if I could take my job back. 
you know, do I really want to go to central Manchester or central Liverpool just to sit on the phones? No! I'm trying to find a face-to-face -face job somewhere, but they don't exist. You know, even just doing split shifts at Tesco. What's that thing that's going on? You know, it's all a mess. Just in case. Oh, I'll take that off. Just so you can see it. Yeah, I've got the Pip-Boy thing on that. What up? i got the Pip-Boy. I have been trying out for a few like VA roles, but um, I'm a good thing I know where the, I'm a good thing I know where the, They want people to speak with a natural accent, but when I speak with a natural accent, they don't want that. They want people who can do certain accents, but they also want you to speak with your natural accent. I understand why they do that, but no, it's a bit weird. Um, also, as I said, this is all random and ad hoc, so it just goes when I go, die. The streams, I know I've still got F1 streams up somewhere, um, the streams may come back at some point, probably not F1, but I'm probably going to dive back into a bit of furriness, why not? Might go back into there, yes I do have Cyberpunk, I play that one on my own, I don't really want to stream it because I'm not all of that much into it. Overwatch, which should really have a 2 there, I should have put the big marker pen 2 over it. I do have Overwatch 2 saved on the hard drive somewhere, barely ever go on it. This is what's peeing me off. Destiny 2, right? I know it's free to play on the laptop, free to play. But yeah, you've still got to fork out 40 quid for the latest updates. Why is that? I don't understand if you want to make more money. I totally understand that you want to make more money, but come on. Really? Why? Why charge that much? You've got millions upon millions of people playing the game. You don't need to charge 40 quid for this thing. You know? I haven't been on it for a while, so I don't know how about it. I mean, last time I was on it, Major League was what? Which Queen? Queen Witch? Whatever. Probably a while ago. Well, you know, I went through all of those, I saw, like, you know, I did some of the hardcore stuff watching like, Cade's death and trying to avenge Cade and all of that. And I know that was like two to three years ago. Maybe even four years ago, sorry. But, you know, I just don't really know what's going on there with the whole like, gaming landscape and stuff, you know. So, yeah. Kind of doesn't help so much with that. But hey, whatever. Hey, companies will charge whatever they want for stuff. And before anyone says, yeah, I'm going to address that whole thing of, like, you know, the first party games have gone from 60 quid to, you know, 70 quid and in some places like you know collector's editions 90 100 quid for like you know the collector's editions or the limited editions the special editions whatever why so high why so high here's the other thing as well work out how much you're getting ripped off so just say that so someone over in the states pays 70 dollars for it for a game, they're paying about 10 12 quid less than you in total. Why can't we have things that about a similar price perspective? So, for instance, whatever you know, if something came out at uh, what. 
60 quid or $60 or $65. So if it was like 60 quid, so it was like 60 dollars. And we then paid 55 quid for it. For instance. Would that be better? A bit of price parity? So that things that people aren't getting ripped off, but then somewhere along the line someone's probably gonna get ripped off or whatever. But I mean if you just found one one central one. Knowing the gaming industry, they'd probably find the highest one possible. So that they can keep as much on more land as possible. But the gaming landscape is you're printing money no matter what. Unfortunately. But you never know. You never know. But that's just a pipe dream and to address a few things that were brought up on the other vlog on Elder Gamers vlog. Ah, uh, yes. The arena idea. Um, I'm definitely going to an idea that would definitely work out really well because it would pay for itself you know you could always have you know like one week to be set up for the ice or two weeks to be set up for the ice and you know, two weeks to be set up for basketball or whatever drink a demise but yeah with all of that you know, be very easy to fit an arena inside that place, inside the old market hall. It would be a really good thing to do there. Um, with the hotel, definitely scrap the hotel. Because do we really need it? No. Because losing the Royal Oak when that got changed, the owners of the Royal Oak were already looking to sell the place on anyway, pre Rona. So, you know, they were looking to, to get out, they were looking to sell the place on. They ended up taking the path of least resistance, which was continued to take on more and more people who were either going to be homeless or going to be housing or whatever. It's now become a homeless shelter. So you've got four or five storey block, which is now basically just a giant homeless shelter. Perfect, because the company that's running it is going to be printing money on the time. So for them, that's fine. They've just got a constant steady income and they've got that right in front of them. So do we really need one in the time sense? Not exactly, because all the other hotels have either expanded or whatever. And because the motorway upgrades and something like the railway upgrades and stuff have taken away now we're at the low at the low and the low so maybe if we did have the arena maybe then having a hotel could be a good thing but we've already got plenty of hotel rooms as it is and the hotels that we currently have at the moment are underutilized so that wiped out that part of the argument same with the apartments who in the right mind really is going to want to live in the center of the town and have to deal with all of the malarkey and anarchy and all of the kerfuffle that goes with it it beats me I'm not one of them I'd rather have a nice quiet place where I've just got these connections decent things you know the other thing I would rather have is I would love to have faster internet but unfortunately full fiber in this area is virtually non-existent Late is the fat end of 2024 into 2025. It probably will get delayed until 2026 before I can get a full fibre connection. That is not on the verge of mine. Brilliante. Another thing I'm going to get off of my developing chest. <laughs> yes, I'm putting a rainbow joke in there. As you can see, I do have the colours behind me. I'm going to put a trans joke in there somewhere. Um, mobile phone connections. Let's just put it this way. The 1402 in certain areas of town is totally shocking. It's poor. We're a major town. We're supposed to have really good connections. You know, it's... Yes, this is a new build, 
or new build. It's bad. It was bad on EE. And EE is one of the strongest networks around Wigan. But it was absolutely shart in here. And O2 is even sharter. But hey. Every network in this area or in this house, in this block of houses, is bad. So it's not exactly like I'm just picking on one network. All the networks in these new builds are bad. Because something in the construction and also the area isn't exactly all that well served for signal. So the signals in a lot of areas for most networks are poor. So I shouldn't really be needing to rely on the internet to be able to boost my phone signal so I can host a phone call. But I do, unfortunately, and I did have to do that with EE as well. I also tried a Vodafone network from the family friend, and that was bad as well. I just went with what was more cost effective, that's all. But in general, it's just poor, you know. For what you pay for, when you're forking out 30, 40, 50, 60 quid a month for just for your phone, it's very annoying that your signal quality is poor. But hey, that's what we have to deal with. Another gripe is the trains. The connection should really be good, and you know, all of that lot because we are getting better still, you know, like better road and stuff and all of that lot. But it seems to be getting worse. If you ignore the strikes and everything, just the quality of service for most companies is getting worse. Avanti are one of the worst performing companies and they had their contract extended by another six months. Now this was on the government, so I'm not gonna get political there, but I mean, you threatened to take, take the contract away from them and they didn't sharpen up. And they sharpened up by about two or three percent. And you rewarded them with a request extension. Rather than doing, you know, what you did with Northern and some of the others. Transpennine, they're also quite bad as well, because they've had a habit of cancelling trains on non-strike days as well. You know, there's that, and there was also all of the other stuff with strikes and everything going on, with, you know, like the people not getting paid and stuff, uh, not getting what they should do is as a fair pay, which I totally agree, everyone should be getting a fair pay. But, you know, as the trains are one of the major uses to get in and out of certain places, you need to get around for certain people, you are kind of holding the people to ransom that. Totally understand why you're doing it and totally understand why you did it. It's just on the other side of it being someone that was affected by it a lot because of some of the places I needed to get to. It was a nightmare. Which I know you were trying to minimise the effect on people but it did sour a lot of people's views. is naturally going to happen with stuff like that but you know then, oh well, can be done about that um, future things ideas for summer and stuff like that I'm probably going to I might try and do some movie reviews and stuff and all of that what well, I have binged Ted Lasso I've done quite a bit of binging on Ted Lasso, so that's one of the major things that I have done. Um, I have enjoyed it and I've caught up. And right now, onto as each week rolls along, I am watching them as they are released. So, uh, the movie review will probably be the Mario movie. One of the movie reviews will probably be the Mario movie. It may just end up being me rather than everybody that's involved with that I'm going along with um because some people are camera shy some people do have their own reasons for not being on camera it's all fair and well that's all fine i'm used to just being here and chatting shit to y'all anyway so it's nothing new to me 
so that's perfectly fine. Um, I've prattled on there for about 20 minutes, so I'm just going to leave you there. So I will bid you adieu. Love this.